we always see the quadratic formula everywhere. How did we actually come up with the quadratic formula? Well, we started off with ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0, the generic quadratic equation. What we can do is to divide everything by a, both sides. However, this you don't. This just still remains 0. This is going to go away. So you can get x squared plus b over a uh, times x plus c over a equals to 0. Now, we're going to complete the square. Okay, we're going to complete the square on this equation. So to complete the square, first thing you must do is you must square. We half the coefficient of x. In this term, is b of in this in this case is b of a. So it's going to be b over a divided by two. To do this, all we got to do is we got to do the inverse. We got to do the reciprocal. We're going to times b of a times the reciprocal, which is just, you know, putting. So this is currently 2 over 1, and we're just going to switch the roles. 2 is going to go on the bottom, and that is how it's going to be. So we're going to get b over 2a, okay? So what we got, we got, we're going to put this in the brackets, x plus b over 2a squared, and then we minus this this term squared okay so this squared is just going to be b over 2a times b over 2a it's going to give us b okay squared over 4a squared and that's plus c of a equals to zero okay we're going to plus b squared over 4a squared and minus c of a so we get we get x plus b over 2a a squared is equal to b squared over 4a squared minus c over a okay so we're going to times both sides here by 4a okay which is going to give us uh let's rewrite this x plus b over 2a squared is equal to b squared minus 4ac uh, divided by 4a squared. Now, as you can see, this the numerator is starting to look similar. So then we're just going to get. So then now, as you would normally do, you would want to square root both sides. So we're going to now square root both sides. We're going to give us x plus b over 2a is equal to the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a squared now with a, with a fraction okay with a fraction we can if we have like say a over b if you have a square root of that you can rewrite this as square root of a over square root of b and that is exactly what we're going to do here we're going to take this number and we're going to individually we're going to take this fraction and individually square root it so the bottom Right, the bottom, this, when you square root that, it's just going to become 2a because the square root cancels everything out. 4, square root of 4 is 2 and the a, and the a squared just gets removed. So, we're going to get x plus b over 2a is equal to the square root to the... So, we're going to get the b squared minus 4ac, okay, then divided by 2a. We're going to minus, we're going to minus b over 2a on both sides. Okay. Now remember, this is plus or minus. Okay, this is plus or minus. So we're going to get x is equal to negative b, negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. The non denominators are common, so we can put this as a whole fraction now. So x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root, the square root of b squared minus 4ac okay, divided by 2a. There you go. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.